Hi, Doria. Hello, welcome to Station Plaza Wines. And this afternoon, I'd like to present Olivier from Chateau La Sylve, a beautiful winery uh, located in the Rhone in Ardèche. And he's going to tell us a little bit about our gorgeous organic and biodynamic wines that we have here today. So, welcome, Olivier. And tell us a little about your winery and your wines today. Hi. Yes, we created our winery in 2002 in Ardèche, so it's part of Rhone Valley. Uh, we try to work very naturally to have a pure expression of the grapes on our specific terra. That's why we work without pesticide, chemical fertilizer, with natural yeast, without filtration, filtrator wine. And, uh, okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> we make uh, a rosé, a white, and uh, three different reds. So the rosé is a blending of three different grapes. So 50 Grenache, 50% 50 Grenache, 30 Sanso, and 20 Syrah. We try to work on the freshness and minerality to make wine very easy to drink, but with a good complexity. And um, the, the, this red wine in particular is interesting. It's a blending of four different grapes. Uh, 50% Cabernet Sauvignon, 30 Grenache, 10 Sanso, and a bit of Grenache as well. And Cabernet, so, uh, Merlot, sorry. Uh, so uh, this wine has been aged 18 months in Oak Barrel. Never new oak, not to add the wood flavors on that, but just to let the grape express as they are. So it makes a wine which is complex, rich, but still fresh and not tiring, which is the most important thing for, for me, to make elegant wines. Yeah. Uh, so the rosé has been aged on like a cement uh, tank. Can you explain a little bit about that process of fermentation? Yes, for sure. So we have 50% of direct pressing and 50% of maceration. So it's a very short maceration of uh, s between six and eight hours not to to mark the color and uh, to extract extract the, co the color but to keep the freshness and uh, a good delicacy yes and all in cement tank and no malolactic fermentation to say you have the first fermentation which transforms the sugar into a alcohol called the alcoholic fermentation and the second fermentation uh, transform acid into other acid, but we don't make that fermentation to keep acidity and freshness and tension in mouth. So without waiting to make the malic acid to form, or you know, like so you said no malolactic fermentation, but you said like it's a one acid to go to yes. another acid. Yes, lactic uh, acid lactic into yeah. acid malic and some acid has more uh, acidity and malic has uh, softer so for the red wine every wine has the malolactic yeah. fermentation yeah. but for the rosé and the white it's better to keep this acidity to have freshness and tension so today's actually earth day and the yes. wines are organic you want to talk a little bit about the importance yes it is a bit mystic I have to say Okay. But uh, we are also working biodynamically, so with the influence of the moon, we follow the lunar calendar, so for the work in the vineyard and in the cellar, for the bottling, for instance. So what you have to know is the lunar calendar has several days, so we have fruit days, root day, uh, uh, flower day, and leaf day, and it impacts a lot the wine. For instance, today it's root day, so it is not the best day to, to taste because when you just open the bottle, it could be a bit tight, uh, a, a bit earthy because of course the terroir is emphasized during these days, but after a bit decant uh, to decanter a bit, it is much better. And of course during other days like flowers day or fruit days, uh, the rosé especially or the red wines uh, shows very very well, much fruiter than other days, 
So it's very interesting to work with that and take into account the, the lunar calendar. That is interesting. Are all Thursdays root day? No. How does it work? Uh, it, it depends to, to the moon, of course, and to when the moon rises and, de and decreases. Uh -huh. So, uh, no, no, there is no rules for that. You have to, to follow the lunar calendar in function of the moon. And so these wines are all organically farmed? Yes, and absolutely. So we are a, a certified eco cert in Europe, so it's a, the strongest organic label in France. So um, we will uh, request to have the American labor uh, soon, but of course it takes a bit of time. But the winery is very young, so it's not my first preoccupation to be certified, but not. it's only to reach the best quality I can to improve each year. And uh, of course, if it, uh, I can make it and write it on the labor, I will do my best to make it at, as soon as I can. But very it is in process. Very good. Thank you very much for visiting Station Plaza Tasting Bar. Thank, Thank you. you.